This is Ozzy Griffin here, and uh, I'm going to give you guys a bit of history to give some contrast and context uh, to the American uh, budget crisis that's going on uh, with the government shutdown. Basically, it goes like this. In Australia, we had a Prime Minister called Gough Whitlam. He'd, and I'm reading off the Wikipedia article here, by 70, early 74, the Senate had rejected 19 government bills, 10 of them twice. Okay, so he was... Um, what do you call it? He was pretty unpopular. So, so what, uh, yeah, what happened is this, the opposition to this sitting prime minister, uh, th threatened him with a bunch of stuff. And once, uh, Whitlam, uh, Whitlam's Senate defeated six of its bills at least twice, these are the conditions required. You've got to reject so many bills so many times to trigger what's called a double dissolution election. Now, basically, basically the, uh, what do you call it? The government lost a lot of seats. It maintained its majority. However, it still lost a lot of seats. And what basically happened uh, with Whitlam's government, is that uh, the Governor-General, that is the guy who acts as the executive representative of the Queen, basically said, right, everyone goes back to the polls, make sure you got the right representative in there. If that doesn't work, you basically have the equivalent of a lock-in, where the bill is either passed or it's failed, and that's the end of it. Uh, it's called the Joint Sitting of the Two Houses of Parliament. So basically, if this was implemented in the in uh, the USA, what it would look like is enough bills would have been rejected enough times um, from one party or the ruling party with lesser minorities, whatever, that eventually an ombudsman or a um, or what do you call it, a speaker of the house or whoever would sit down there and say, right, if this happens again, it's a double dissolution. Everyone goes back to the polls. And all of you could lose your seats. So that's one scare tactic. Then, what would happen is, after another national election, another Senate and House election, uh, for president um, as well, you'd basically have everybody sat down, assuming they're still whinging about it, which they inevitably would, and you'd basically have a lock-in, where after no debating, no arguing, it was either passed or it's failed, and that's it. That's it. So, yeah. This is why I keep saying to people, I'm not bothered by American politics. I'm just waiting for you guys to catch up. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. If you can think of a better system or show me one, including uh, something from the French Revolution, I'm willing to listen to it. Yeah, have a good one.